Let me hit record. Sorry about that. Day's been a little crazy. But I want to go in this section and like, you know, if you're not here, you will get it because I'm going to, like I said, I'm recording it and I will upload it and hustle you. Uh, This is how I do it. I'm going to talk about it and then you can ask questions. Uh, Apparently, I just totally screwed up about this. I may have to do this. Well, it'll be recorded. It'll be recorded. But my apologies for uh, screwing up the time. So, and part of how to make 3000 to 5000 your first month on eBay and Amazon, you need to get product. But more importantly, you need to know what product that you're going to buy. One of the slickest ways to get information, and this, this right here is so crazy. This is so crazy. A lot of these guys can't stand my ass. And I never actually thought that I would be using them to help you, but it is what it is. So let's start here. I'm going to give you my opinions. Um, This guy, he's a dick. Straight up. He's a dick. But he is a dick with an ego. And look at this. Tip of the week. Tip. All you have to do is watch his videos because he does. He's a dick, but he's a knowledgeable dick. You know, I don't like the guy, but I'm not one of those people that's like, well, just because I don't like someone and everything that they do is stupid. That is crazy. He puts out a lot of good information because of his ego. Let me just say that again. He puts out a lot of information because of his ego that can help you make money. Let's go here. I'm not going to play the video. I'm just going to show you something. There's a lot of stuff going on this internet connection, so things might be a little slow. Pop out there. Okay. I'm just trying to get out of here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, let's talk about this. You went ahead, went to Fiverr, got all this stuff. This is a sign of ego. Because if you're going to do YouTube, you need to have a plan. If you're on YouTube trying to make money from AdSense, it's worse than it used to be. You know, I'll tell you. When things were really good, you know, $1,200, $1,500 a month from AdSense. It was well worth it. Now, 300, 600 bucks. I mean, they changed everything because there are more people. And this happened when they open up the partner part program to everyone. YouTube makes way more money since there are more partners, but each partner individually makes less. So AdSense is not the way to go. And if you've noticed, I've actually have a lot of videos that recently that don't have ads. There's a reason. But let's get past this. YouTube. This is Dallas. Bam. Now, this is what you do. You go in when they tell you, because they're going to tell you exactly what it is. They're going to tell you exactly what it is. So once you get this information, you go online, you do your research. What is it going for? How much? And then you go to this. You can try it for free, but you can do automated searches of Craigslist, which means because I use Craigslist to sell. A lot. Craigslist is more of a sourcing resource now than the selling platform that it used to be. They have completely monkeyed it up. They've completely fucked it up. Craigslist is great for getting leads or inventory now. Craigslist made more changes in the last 12 months than they did in the last 12 years. And it's just a mess. So you get this information. Go here. Create your automated search. And you find the product because what you want to do just to give you a little update is you want to have 200 or 300 things that you're consistently looking for. If you're looking for one to 10, yeah, you're going to find some. But if you have 200, 300 things, you always will source inventory. You'll always be in something like if you're a storage auction person, it's totally different. You could kind of use this in reverse, and I'll address that really quickly. If you find something in a storage unit and you put it on eBay or Amazon, it does very well. 
you take that item and then you use the same Craigslist automation software and you continually look for it. I made some nice side money flipping Mac computers. There was a certain sweet spot. Uh, I had a thousand dollars, you know, pot money, a thousand dollars in the pot to spend. And I would spend 700, 800 bucks on a computer and sell it for 1100, 1200, make two to $300 profit. But I would sell the computers within a day or two because a lot of times people put their computer up on Craigslist and they did not list it correctly or they didn't put the right juicy keywords so it was lost. So you can pull some out of a unit and then go out and find 10 more or 20 more, 30 more. And see, this is nationwide. So if you're in the metro metropolitan area like I am, and you don't mind driving, you can go like an hour out. You can say 100 miles. You can say 150 miles. You can say 200 miles. So the whole deal is you want to consistently get inventory. You do not want to get inventory, sell that inventory, then go back out and buy inventory. That, that, that will slow down your money. So you got that. Let's go back to another one. I'm going to show you some people. Uh, I don't know if she's posting anything. Once again, same thing. She posts a lot of stuff. Watch her videos with a sheet of paper or, you know, if, if you're technical, watch her videos with your iPad and then put the information. You want to create a ton of searches using this. You want as many searches as possible. 300, 400, 500, because when you crank up the level of searches, you crank up the level of results. Because if you're like searching for 10 things, you might find one or two a week. But if you're searching for 300, 400, 500, 600, 700 things, you're going to find stuff all day long. You may come across 10 things. And the thing is, you can crank up your search. And as I did in the first uh, what part of this webinar is price points are huge. You want to be at $25, $40, $50, $100, $200 items because it, it just makes a, a such a big difference. So here's another one. Her name's Heather. She's very nice. And bam, this guy, he is wising up. <laughs> I have a Facebook friend of his. He is wising up. He's not putting out as much information as he used to, but he still put out information. Okay, and here's a quick lesson. This is how you get the juicy stuff. Do this and go to oldest to the newest. Because see, this is the thing. A lot of the stuff that he did, you know, from Legos, this, this stuff still sells. And the videos are still up. And this is the thing how YouTube works. People are conditioned to watch the latest and greatest. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, this, this is a pre-populated term. See this? People are looking for the latest and greatest. Latest and greatest. But see, this is the rub. Go to my channel. Do the same thing. I have so many videos, it, it seems to have a problem with this for me. Let's see, because um, it's not going back as far as it should. But you, you might have to work for me. You're going to have to work a little harder because there's so many videos. But um, as you go back, the further back you go in my videos, the more stuff you're going to find to sell. Start 2009. Uh, actually, I can kind of cheat a little bit. Let's move that out the way. I can go. Because I have an ungodly amount of videos. Um, dang, it does not. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to do it the hard way. But uh, bear with me because it's, uh, it's a lot. It's... Uh, I have way more videos up here than this actually posted. All 
Okay, here we go. We should be toward the end. All right, you want to start here. You want to start here. Uh, as I, the first two years, I put out a ton of information, a lot of stuff. And in these stories, I'm telling you what's to sell. And you, you, it's, a, it's a matter of research. It is just a simple matter of research because as you gain a knowledge base, you'll find out what to sell, what not to sell. Okay, back on point. This guy, loads of information. Once again, watch with a pen and paper, pick out the items. And a lot of times, like, uh, they don't tell you stuff, but they show you stuff. Ten days. Yeah, give or take, but, ooh, no rental car coverage. Uh, you get some. Okay. So, you know, he's in the studio. Check out the link in the description below. The link to my blog. Uh, check it out. Uh, there's other things that have videos on there, I think. Yeah, just wanted to kind of take you around. Okay, now what he's selling, it looks like a New York Giants and it's in its NFL brand jacket. No, I don't know what that is. Um, you take that actually in the back. Okay. Look at the jacket now. If you can't see something, you can do this. And you go here. It's just a regular ball, which I don't know if that actually worked or not. Um, I have some Westcott umbrellas here. It only goes up to 720. But you can see if he's taking a picture of it, it's worth something. So you those are little cues because I see that all the time. They may not talk about it, but you'll see the stuff in the background. Now, Will, his name is Will. Will is the granddaddy of pickers and resellers on YouTube. This channel is full of information. Now, this is what's really funny. Um, just go through his 10 rules of picking and things that he has, he tells you what they are. Go right back here, put that stuff in and look for it. Because see, this is the thing about Will. Will doesn't buy junk. He doesn't buy stupid stuff. Anything that he's putting in the video will make you money. Now, a lot of people are not watching him because I'll, I'll show you something. And this is really interesting. Uh, 541 views. Now, this one's, you know, just watch. Watch. Take a pen and paper. Look what he's, you know. And then go here and find it. See, this is the math. And this is where a lot of people go wrong. They don't do enough. They don't do enough sourcing. They don't do enough listing. You go out on the weekend, you get 30 things, you put them up, and you put all your hopes and dreams on those 30 things. You got a problem. Those 30 things may not do well. But if you have 500 things listed on eBay, you're going to make money. You have to increase your volume. You have to increase what you're listing. But the cool thing about this is they make it easy. Will puts up videos because he just likes putting up videos. And let's see how long has Will been here. Do, 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 do. 2007. He's been here like he was here two years longer than I was. And this is something else to show you. If you stay consistent with YouTube, you will make money you will go up because he's i've got maybe four hundred thousand more views than he does and you know i've got way more videos so now here's another one once again go through his videos he'll show you stuff dwayne does not buy junk okay he doesn't buy junk so what you can do is look at it and you, you know he may tell you he may not and just look and say, okay, so you can spend a weekend, right, watching these guys. You know, this is Dwayne Castle and Addicts. And then, let's see, let's go back. Let 
Now watch Dwayne and watch Will. This is going to be more vintage, antique type stuff. Uh, this guy, he's pretty good on really historical stuff. Now, see, this is a lot of really good information here, but you don't see a lot of views. There's There are people on YouTube who are putting out killer information, and a lot of people don't know about them. Just uh, completely clueless to who these folks are. Here's another one. He'll be a little easier. Okay, you're going to get more juice from, let's go here, from his earlier stuff. <clears throat> you know, a lot of people don't do this. Uh, he's matriculated from small stuff to big stuff, something I told him he should have done years ago. Go back to the early videos and you will see. Now, here's something else that um, people don't do. I'm going to show you another little trick. I know he's got ads all over the place, so bear with me for a second. Okay. Bam. You see all this stuff on the wall? This is money. This stuff is valuable. This is stuff he likes. This is money. If he, you know, except, even, yeah, even the sooner, that stuff's money. He can sell that. That he can sell. Look at the wall. It's like, oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? And go look for that stuff because you can sell it. A lot of people who do their videos with their stuff in the background, that is stuff that you can sell and make money. I know it sounds crazy, but I've kind of I've played some games, I've looked at some stuff for some people, went out and priced it. And just literally the stuff that they're they're not even talking about that's behind them will make you money. Uh let's see. Don't need that one. Hold on a second. Everybody's home right now. Okay, here's another one. Uh, clothing, all kinds of weird stuff. But to get a lot of, you know, true religion that sells, it's kind of, I, I hated that brand when I was selling. But always do this. Go to the videos. And I'm going to tell you why you want to do this. And go to the oldest you see the new stuff because there's other people that have picked up on this and they watch the videos and they go out and get the stuff. But <laughs> they're not looking for this stuff. They're not looking. They're not looking for this stuff. Look at the numbers. Look, 242, 173. They're not looking for this stuff. So go to the older videos first, then go to the newer stuff. Uh, Here's another one. She doesn't put out a lot of videos anymore. I think she's got some health issues. I'm not sure. I'm just assuming. I don't know this to be the case or not. But go to her videos. Once again, she'll tell you. Early stuff. Early stuff. Just puts all early you know, two, three years ago, watch the stuff and you will be amazed at what you can find because YouTube conditions people to look for the latest and greatest. And they're not looking for this old stuff because it's like, ah, it's an old video. The information is, is not good. Wrong. Totally, totally wrong. Totally, totally wrong. Now, this guy knows what he's talking about and he loves to give great information so this is what you do once again i'm consistent with this go to his earlier videos he will tell you so many things that you can go out and buy to make money and i will talk about him he likes to sell bikes and stuff but he likes to do it locally i shipped 99.5% of the bikes that I got out of storage units. Um, call up a bike shop and ask these questions. Hey, if I bring a bike to you, 
how much would you charge to break it down and put it into a box? And I'm I'm guarantee you, you know, it used to be 25 bucks for me. It, it might be 30, 40 now. FedEx is 30, it's about 20, 30 bucks to ship at FedEx. So you have $60 in biking cost. All right. So say you get a bike on Craigslist for a hundred bucks, and you can sell that bike for six hundred bucks on eBay. Not Amazon, but eBay. So that $60 is really not that big of a deal. And you put that in your listing. It's like, look, I'm going to have the bike professionally broken down by bike shop and packaged to ship to you. So they know that they're not going to get a bike that they can put on the rock. Now, a lot of people who are really into bikes, the more expensive bikes, they can put the bike together themselves. No problem. Or if they can't, they'll take it to the bike shop. Bike shop's going to charge them 30 bucks to put it up. If they're paying $600 for a bike, they may actually think that the bike might be worth a thousand new. So they're still getting the deal, even with the additional charges. But yeah, go through his earlier stuff <laughs> and then go here, do the search, get your searches. It's going to take a little time because you got to play with this. And I do recommend buying their premium service. And when you get to three to 400 searches, your email box is going to ding every day. And then you're going to get stuff for eBay. You're going to get stuff for Amazon. But let's continue on. Here's another one. <laughs> so many things. So many things. But once again, he's not making a lot of videos. At, he's not making videos like he used to. Uh, he slowed down. But early videos, you know the deal. Bam, here. Another one. Another one. Some more. And this guy. He's kind of an asshole, but uh, he puts out some good knowledge. Let's see. And you think he's in Florida. So what you want to do, especially with his stuff, because a lot of these guys are starting to wise up and realize that saying, hey, I went to a yard sale and I got this stuff for 10 bucks and I made four hundred dollars. And the, the thought is uh, it can't hurt me because, you know, you're in another state and they forget that if someone takes this stuff and puts it on eBay or Amazon Regardless of the factor in another state, it will impact the price on eBay and Amazon, which is another reason I'm telling you to go large, which I'm, I'm telling you to get a ton of stuff up there. I'm telling you to 300, 400, 500, 600 listings, because essentially, if you do not have volume, you're going to run into problems. You're going to have days where stuff's not going to sell when we when we had our business. And I don't know if any of you read the book, but as a joke, I bought a unit, a crappy unit for $10. And I just listed, and you can't do this now. I'm just showing, I'm just telling you this to illustrate the power of eBay. I listed everything out of that unit on eBay for 99 cents. You cannot do that. I do not recommend listing a bunch of stuff on eBay for 99 cents. You will take a bath. But at the time, people actually bid. So I listed everything. For 99 cents. 600 items. It took freaking two weeks. It took, oh my God, there were so many things. But at the end, this $10 unit realized a profit of damn near $3,000. And that's why it got us on that whole volume, listing as much shit as possible on eBay. Now, to give you 2013 eBay, eBay won't allow you to do that anymore. If you're new, you cannot do that because there are selling limits that will be imposed on you. You can't do it. So that's why you need to go ahead, watch these folks, pick up some premium ideals for the cost of your time, then go here and find. Now let's talk about this. Now, you already are watching these videos. You're finding stuff to sell. Your goal is not to get one. Your goal is to get as many as possible, cheap as possible. If you find an item that sells for 60, 50 bucks, 
get as many as you can. And what you do is you list one at a time. You do not list if you've got four starter jackets, like so you bought a unit and you get four starter jackets, they're all the same brand new, one at a time. Or you list one on eBay, you list one on Amazon. Now let's talk about why you would list on one place and not the other. When you list on Amazon, they're going to take 25%. So if you sell a $400 item, you could have some problems. Um... There's some new people coming in. Hey, I, I want to apologize. I totally screwed up the uh, times because I got confused because I have so many things going on. So sorry about that. But you will not miss this because as soon as this is over, I'm going to process the recording and it'll be up and hustle you tomorrow. So you won't miss anything. But back to how do you decide where to put something? It's about price points and fees. If you've got a $50 item and you can sell it on Amazon, understand you're going to pay 13 bucks in fees or you could send it to Amazon FBA. Now, another part about this is, and this is just something I've come to this year. If you're going to sell on Amazon, your best way is Amazon FBA for the following reasons. Amazon is very punishing when you fuck up. You get one shot. You know, you get a few warnings, but you can do one major. That's it. You're gone. And they don't care. Getting back on Amazon is not as easy as getting on eBay. It's possible, but it's not as easy. So why you want to do Amazon FBA? The biggest problem I, we had and one of the reasons, and I'll tell you if you don't know, some people know, some people don't know. Uh, 2006. My partner and I, we just became extremely frustrated with eBay because it was overwhelming. When you have a thousand items up on eBay and you sell 300 on a Sunday, it takes days to package all that stuff up. We tried so many ways. We actually had stuff pre-packaged, but the problem was since we were offering combined shipping, often someone would buy something that would, I mean, it was just a fucking nightmare. And, uh, I went out and found four people. It was not easy to, and I brought them a 17 foot box truck full of stuff every time they, they ran out. I mean, hundreds of items for eBay and I had four of them and it was kind of like our Amazon FBA, except I was using private contractors and we had contracts signed because the money was going into their PayPal account and every week they cut me a distribution. So, I mean, you have to have paperwork. You have to have an agreement to all that stuff because you just like, hey, you know, you sell. No, it has to be parameters. But that happened in 2006. 2007, we had our most profitable year ever because I was able to buy, buy, buy. Only thing that we sold ourselves was stuff in the warehouse and on Craigslist. That's what we sold. And the Amazon wasn't as robust. Amazon FBA was out, but we didn't, you know, we we're doing our own FBA thing and it was just working much better. So we didn't even mess with Amazon. But that's why I'm telling you that it works because when you do Amazon FBA, you remove yourself from certain harm. Make sure the stuff you send, you send in is perfect. It's not easy. You know, there are people like, oh, Amazon FBA is not easy. But it's worth it. I'm, you know, I'm giving you the truth. It's worth it because I want you to think you're watching this person, this person. If you spend a weekend or two days, watch, you know, depending on your schedule, like if you've got a job, it'll be on the weekend. And you watch these people and you take notes. You will get. Hundreds of ideas. Go here. And I guarantee you, within a week, you'll find 20, 30, 40, 50, maybe 100 items. And you do that over time, you're going to develop this huge inventory on for eBay or Amazon FBA. Now, I would say, depending upon your money situation, because with Amazon FBA, there is going to be a, a short-term tie-up of your capital. So that's something that you have to look at. Where eBay, if you sell something, <laughs> and you know, PayPal's not messing with you, you get the money that day, just depending upon where you are with your financial situation. But, you know, going back to the parameters, 
look at the fee structure and look at the ability of how fast it's going to sell. So you, you got to kind of do some research depending upon the item. Like if you're getting really nice watches, people are very comfortable buying used watches on eBay. But if you're a storage auction buyer or in your travels, you come across a brand new watch still in the box. You can still sell it as new. It has all the paperwork and stuff. You might want to try Amazon. It just really depends. And one of the things you have to understand is you can also take some of this stuff for immediate cash and flip it back on Craigslist. Because what I've learned with Craigslist, how you write your ad is the title. The headline, the title is extremely important. It's extremely important. And a lot of people totally, totally screw up the title. And I'll give you some examples. Because you can buy something on Craigslist and turn around and sell it on Craigslist all day long. Let's see. I've got the grid view. Let's go to the list view. Okay. Now you see this, you see this, you see this. If someone's looking for a dining room table, this works. You want what it is. I know this sounds kind of crazy because some people don't. You want this dining room table. Now this is looking at it. You see this thing right here and this. It looks like a vintage old set. Someone might pay four fifty for that. Someone may not, depending on the name on it. Okay, this is this is not worth posting. You know, just to show you, there's dirt there, there's dirt there. The cushions are sagging. Someone might get it, but they're they're hideous. You know, just you know, another lesson. Selling stuff this color is a difficult thing to do. People like natural tones, medium. That stuff sells all day long, has had so for a long time. Stuff like that, blue with the maple, it takes a certain person that likes that. And for a certain person that like that, it may take a while for them to show up. Now, this is... <laughs> I can tell you wholesale, this set cost about 500 bucks. And I'm going to tell you something else, too. It's particle board. Let's see. Let's see something else. Like new. This is a dealer. And, you know, another thing. This right here is a problem. Don't do this. Because this gets your stuff flagged. Let's see how long has it been up since the 13th. This tells me two things. A lot of people are not really looking at it or they're just completely ignoring it. So, you know, the title means a lot. Um, <laughs> this is an old chair. I used to sell those for like 80 bucks a piece. But what I would suggest is you do your title like this. You see, this runs together. Like, just get more specific. That's just a big block. It, it kind of commands attention, but this would command more attention. Let's say... Let's do it like this. Yeah, something like that, because people are conditioned to block this stuff out. So or you might do this. Something to draw attention to your ad. Now, that's just if they're casually looking. Now, if they're doing a keyword search, it's very important that you have dining room table in the title, in the ad two or three times, because Craigslist search feature is not the best. You might actually, you know, go out and do Google. It's better than it used to be, but it still leaves a lot to be desired. So coming out of there. 
So you have, like I said, and there, there are more. Just spend a little time. And when you're watching these guys, what I want you to do is not go, oh, he's a dick. Oh, he's horrible. That's not your purpose for watching them. Your purpose is waiting for them to show you something. Always look in the background. Always look at what's on their desk. Always look at what's on the walls. That's money. And just create your list. You get um, 200, 300 things through this. I mean, that's going to be three to 5,000 or more dollars. Because the thing is, uh, I think I still have it open. I will do this really quickly. Let's see. Yeah, because uh, some of you didn't see it. So hold on. We'll open this up. You know, just to give you a little heads up, you're going to need a little cash. I mean, you're not going to do this for $30, $40. It's not going to happen. And I'm going to link these two webinars. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop out of this and I'm going to put this to the side. And what I'm going to do is merge the first webinar with this webinar for those that missed the first two. And it'll make more sense. You know, it, it'll just make more sense. Or, yeah, no. What I'll do is I'll just put them together because. I'm going to create a new tab in Hustler U, and I'll just do webinar one, webinar, you know, section one, section two. And I'm going to do this again uh, because the thing is you want to create a business that's as automated as possible. And if, you know, I want you to, and this is the reason a lot of people like Amazon and FBA, and I'm also saying you still need to have something else going on, like your own Facebook group your own website, you still, you know, or warehouse, you still need to have something else. Do not go do Amazon FBA at the exclusion of everything else. Because if Amazon, you know, this happened to a guy in one of my groups, uh, one CD, he got sued by, I believe, Warner Brothers, and they shut him down, completely shut him down and kept his inventory. So you don't want to just be in a situation where you're completely ass out, but still do the other stuff because I want you to think, if you can go out and buy and buy and buy and ship somewhere else and have someone else shipping and you'll have, you know, hot items, they'll sell very fast and you'll have long term items. I mean, long tail items such as books, some games, you know, because it's about your inventory. It is about your inventory, because if you have. Three hundred thousand dollars worth of inventory in Amazon FBA's warehouses. You sell 10% a month. It's $30,000, people. It's 30000 a month. Now, that's not all profit. Say your profit is 60% of that. That's a really good living. And that is just one aspect of your business. Because I'm going to say this again. Don't just do Amazon FBA. Do Amazon FBA. Do your own Facebook page, fan group. Do your own, have as many streams of income as possible. Trust me on this. If I didn't do this myself, when we had our problems with eBay, we would have been screwed. We'd been totally screwed. Okay, well, that's that section there. So what I'm going to do, if you want to ask me a question, go ahead. Um, you just type it in. I'll give you a second to gather your thoughts. And I'll answer them. And after that, I'll shut it down. And once again, I'm sorry about the time thing. Uh, my mind has been running 100 miles an hour. So just any question you want to ask. And if something pops in your head after I shut this off, uh, just go ahead and ask Hustling University, and I'll, I'll talk about that while you're gathering your thoughts. In the coming weeks, there's going to be a lot of new people in there. Um, if you haven't seen the video, the only thing that I'm selling is T-shirts and Hustler University. The Hustler Mindset Project, I am working on making that better, but only people who are already in, I'm dealing with them. You can't get in. But to get to the Hustler Mindset Project at some point, if you desire, you got to come through Hustler University. So I'm becoming a lot more focused. So there will be a lot more 
uh, interesting conversation. There would be a lot of stuff that I've kind of like held back because I was trying to figure out like which direction am I going to go in. And now that I've made a decision, the decision, you will see a lot of interesting and wonderful stuff in Hustle University. And uh, like I said, a lot of new faces. So if um, no one is really asking any questions. So if there are no questions, once again, this will be in Hustle University tomorrow. And if there's anything you don't understand or it's throwing you or if a question pops in your head after, just go ahead and ask in the group once I put the stuff up and then you can comment on the video and then I'll respond to it. This one's from Steven. Do you use auto listers? Uh, heavily. We used Ink Frog. Uh, there was many things. There was Channel Advisor, Activa, all kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know what's out there now because I don't sell on eBay. But auto listers, yes. Use them 30 days, you know, for long stuff, long, long tail stuff. Yes. Because it's just it, it's part of automating your business. And if you have a lot of stuff up, you're going to have to do it. Any more questions? Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> okay, well, that's it. Once again, thanks for everybody that came out. This will be in Hustle University tomorrow. And there will be another webinar next week. I'll get that together. And uh, there's going to be a lot more information coming out. And for those of you, uh, this is something else I'm going to do. I'm going to make a special uh, price break for people in the group on the T-shirts. Because the shirts that I'm putting out on YouTube, they're going to be combined with an offer. And they're going to be more expensive. But I can sell it to you for a lot less. If you buy from me direct and I order the shirt and I just have it shipped to you. So that's something else that's coming just to let you know. All right. Thanks for coming out. This is Glendon Cameron and I will see you on the good side.